hey guys what's up so in this lesson i'll be talking about how to make notes and it will be related to geography so let's get started with this lesson so if you feel like that these courses are helping in any way then like just share it with your friends and you can also follow me on an academy on this link just give your ratings and reviews to this course so that i know uh, if you like this course or not you can just click on a five star four star whatever you feel like and you can also uh, like review it like what what you liked about it what you didn't like about it so i will just start straight away with how to make notes so that you know how i have made notes so ecotourism is start with the definition so responsible travel to natural areas conserves the environment improves the well-being of local people then i talk about future generations may experience destination relatively untouched by human intervention now it involves visiting fragile pristine and relatively undisturbed natural areas to have greater appreciation of flora fauna and cultural heritage and it is intended as a low impact small scale alternative to standard commercial or mass tourism to generate local employment and earn precious foreign exchange so this can be revised in 5 10 seconds before the exam and you might write a very good answer but if you have not if you do not have such notes then you will fail miserably because otherwise there are infinite resources on ecotourism on wikipedia etc then you, if you have this three things like this circle if you make it in your exam then you will get a lot of marks for example profits locals and conservation and somewhere at the intersection is the ecotourism now ecotourism is to educate the traveler to provide funds for ecological conservation to directly benefit the economic development and political empowerment of local communities to foster respect for different culture for human rights socially responsible travel personal growth environmental sustainability now minimize the negative aspects of conventional tourism because conventional tourism gives a lot of negative impact like people go there and spread pollution and stuff like that and to enhance the cultural integrity of local people promoting of recycling energy efficiency water conservation and so on and so forth so that is why ecotourism becomes very very important so you need to know these facts properly now what are the principles of ecotourism so it is basically trinity of conservation community welfare and sustainable tourism so this is the first principle then it is minimizing impact uh then third is building environmental local traditional cultural awareness conjure humility and respect then provides direct financial benefits or for conservation now providing financial benefits and empowerment for local people and supporting human rights democratic movements raising sensitivity to socio political and environmental wrongs and so on and so forth so these are the basic principles of ecotourism now what are the criticism of ecotourism like there are too many definitions so this term is loosely used so the policies are vaguely defined costly to implement hard to enforce uncertain in effectiveness now in name of sustainable ecotourism mass tourism mass construction of hotels etc has done uh, since it is not very well regulated at least to destruction of local resources over exploitation displacement of people uh, promotion of industrialization urbanization and threat to the very culture which ecosystem tends to promote or relies upon so these are like perfect notes of ecotourism you can revise it in 1 minute and you can score very highly in mains and like uh, get the correct answer in prelims but if you relate it to current affairs also then it becomes like flawless so for example there were three news recently the ecotourism plant in areas surrounding river chennai so tamil nadu we no need to know everything about it ecotourism activities resume at parambikulam you need to know where it is cambodia takes step to save nearly extinct royal turtle again it is talking about ecotourism so these were the related, direct correlation with current affairs so that's how your note should be so why to make notes because it will help writing practice will help you develop your analytical and critical abilities like making notes it will give you writing practice which becomes critical for the examination point of view obviously once you write down you will it will help you in organizing your points your head will get straight it will help you in better expression of the content it will also help in better revision of topics and most importantly retention will increase while while you make notes so these are the important points which everybody should remember and that's how it has to be done now how to make notes so basically there are two kinds of note making which needs to be done one is linear note making which is like what i have made one is mind maps which i'll show you later so linear note making involves writing the main points along with keywords you have to just highlight and underline the keywords and it is best when you need to summarize something for example i summarized eco tourism and which you can be revise in one minute now mind maps are more of a visual representation but both are equally important and it varies from topic to topic now how to make notes for geography so like personal notes will obviously help and conceptual clarity is a must you need to know the definitions exploit all the available materials on the topic but don't go like reading them just read for topic wise 
and develop flow charts and diagrams maps as much as you can like draw and locate maps as much as possible so for example when it comes to notes making on agricultural crops just like require all these information what are the temperature required rainfall required humidity soil regions where it is grown in india district states and in the world countries related industries and problems associated any additional information rice wheat maize tobacco you tell the crop you can summarize it in the following way okay so that is how the note should be it should be very relevant and if otherwise people make such stupid notes that it is virtually impossible to revise at the time of examination now diagrammatic representation is like it is always better if you represent something as a picture or a diagram so it will help you in recall in the exam hall and you can make certain diagrams also so that it becomes very very pertinent on the part of examiner to give you marks now clustered information make, makes like comprehension and recall difficult you can't remember it for example if you are like talking about drainage system it will be better to draw the figure rather than the paragraph notes of the terminologies for example i will give you an example this is a drainage system right so this is a typical river assume it is ganga or whatever it is so these are the tributaries which are coming so one is the master stream that is the one and a main stream or trunk stream whatever you want to call then the two are the tributaries then the three is distributaries then four is the head of the river and finally five is the mouth of the river meeting sea so in this format you can typically involve any river ganga brahmaputra yamuna saraswati whatever river it is you can typically involve kaveri krishna godavari and so on and so forth so while making notes always remember to write the keywords phrases important facts that you think are important and read everything from the purpose of the exam not to enhance your knowledge and intellect and solve the question paper so that you will understand what is important what is not important and so on and so forth and finally like use the syllabus while you are writing like take a detailed note of the syllabus like just remember it thoroughly you watch my videos again and again only then you will realize what is important and what is not important now filtering is the only way in which you can like filter out so much information is available right now that you need to make proper notes so that you can revise at the end of it and like don't take certain other people's note and like take try to take photocopy it's just like having market notes photocopy it will never help you when you really need them just write them in your own words and once you write in your own words your brain knows that you have done certain effort in it and it in drastically increases the chances of you retaining the material so i hope uh, this helped you and do continue the course thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day